Hi, it's King T8 here, and today we are going to be taking a look at this monkey that came in the Lego Bricks and Gears set, I believe it is called. I have already done an unboxing video of that. And funny, I did not look at instructions for this, I just looked at the picture and built it. Because there were so little, so few parts in the set, I was just able to eyeball it, and I think I got it right. So... This thing, um, it's not very tall. Here, there's one of the pick a brick cups. Yeah, not very tall. But it's bigger than minifigures. Here, let me just grab a minifigure. Imagine having a monkey the size of, bigger than a gorilla, just right next to you, hanging on this tree. Yeah, so... Not, maybe even for decoration purposes, but not for like a practical zoo animal, if you know what I mean. So, I might even have to just make a smaller version. I could definitely try. Don't know if, how it'll turn out. I might do it. That sounds like a good idea now that I think about it. But, this thing does move around. This white thing that looks kind of ugly. You turn it. It doesn't fit with the with the rest of the tree, which I'll swap it out for green if I if I ever want to redo this. But basically, yeah, you can make him go around like that. And because I have one phone on the or one hand on the camera, I can't do what I like to do with this because I have to use one hand to hold down the tree. In one hand do this, but I can make him go around three or four times at, a, at once. So I will show you right now. I figured out a way to show you guys how to make this monkey go around three or four times. So you use one finger to hold down the top, because if you just try to do it on its own, yeah, that happens. Too much force. Although you can do them one at a time like this. So that's my review on this monkey. It's not very practical for a minifigure scale as I showed you before. But it's definitely fun to play with. So I'll see you in the next video. King T out.